Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth, and their wives. Wikipedia, Noah, Noah. The Genesis flood narrative is among the best known stories of the Bible. In this account, Noah labored faithfully to build the ark at God's command, ultimately saving not only his own family, but mankind itself and all land animals from extinction during the flood. Afterwards, God made a covenant with Noah and promised never again to destroy all the earth's creatures with a flood. Noah is also portrayed as a tiller of the soil and as a drinker of wine. The flood of Noah's day was a year-long global catastrophe that destroyed the pre-flood world, reshaped the continents, buried billions of creatures, and laid down the rock layers. It was God's judgment on man's wickedness, and only eight righteous people and representatives of every kind of land animal were spared aboard the ark. When the Bible refers to a worldwide flood in Genesis chapter 7 through chapter 8, that's exactly what it means. The waters covered the whole earth. Now, God loved this man for his righteousness, yet he not only condemned those other men for their wickedness, but determined to destroy the whole race of mankind and to make another race that should be pure from wickedness. The Antiquities of the Jews, Book 1, Chapter 3. When the rain ceased, the water did but just begin to abate. After 150 days, that is, on the 17th day of the 7th month, it then ceased to subside for a little while. After this, the ark rested on the top of a certain mountain in Armenia, Mount Ararat. The Antiquities of the Jews, Book 1, Chapter 3. But as for Noah, he was afraid, since God had determined to destroy mankind. Least he should drown the earth every year, so he offered burnt offerings and besought God that nature might hereafter go on in 
its former orderly course and that he would not bring on so great a judgment anymore by which the whole race of creatures might be in danger of destruction but that having now punished the wicked he would of his goodness spare the remainder in such as he had hitherto judged fit to be delivered from so severe a calamity. Home of Abram the Hebrew, port city of Ur, of the Chaldeans. He also entreated God to accept of his sacrifice and to grant that the earth might never again undergo the like effects of his wrath, that men might be permitted to go on cheerfully and cultivating the same, to build cities and live happily in them, and that they might not be deprived of any of those good things which they enjoyed before the flood, but might attain to the like length of days in old age which the ancient people had arrived at before. After what manner the posterity of Noah sent out colonies and inhabited the whole earth. Antiquities of the Jews, chapter 5, book 1. The family tree of Adam, Eve, Seth line, all the way down to Noah and Japheth. Noah, Japheth, Table of Nations, and Genesis chapter 10 sets forth the descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, from whom the nations branched out over the earth after the flood. Wikipedia article Japheth Japheth Hebrew Yapath is one of the three sons of Noah in the book of Genesis in which he plays a role in the story of Noah's drunkenness and the curse of Ham and subsequently in the table of nations as the ancestor of the peoples of the Aegean Sea Antolia and elsewhere. In medieval and early modern European tradition, he was considered to be the progenitor of the European peoples, while Islamic traditions also included the Chinese people among his descendants. The ancient Bronze Age Chinese, not the modern Chinese who are Shemites. Etymology The meaning of the name Japheth 
is disputable. There are two possible sources to the meaning of the name from Aramaic root Patha, meaning to extend. In this case, the name would mean May He Extend Rashi from Hebrew root Yapa, meaning beauty, in which case the name would mean beautiful. Chapter 10 of Genesis, the Table of Nations, describes how earth was populated by the sons of Noah following the flood, beginning with the descendants of Japheth, Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Nasich, Tares, Ashkenaz, Rapath, Togomoth, Elisha, Taresh, Ketam, Dadanim. Wikipedia article Javan Javan Hebrew Yawan Yavan Yawan was the fourth son of Noah's son Japheth. Book of Genesis, chapter 10. Josephus states the traditional belief that this individual was the ancestor of the Greeks, Mycenaean Greeks, Yawanas, Yawana. Wikipedia article, Old Europe, Archaeology. Old Europe is a term coined by the Lithuanian archaeologist Marija Gimbutis to describe what she perceived as a relatively homogeneous pre-Indo-European Neolithic and Copper Age culture or civilization in southeastern Europe and part of Central Eastern Europe centered in the Danube River Valley. Old Europe is also referred to in some literature as the Danube Civilization. In historical times, some ethnonyms are believed to correspond to pre-Indo-European peoples, assumed to be the descendants of the earlier Old European cultures, the Pelagians. Old Europe Pre-Indo-Europeans Indigenous People of Europe Wikipedia Article Pelagians The name Pelagians Ancient Greek Pelasgoi was used by classical Greek writers to refer either to the predecessors of the Greeks or to all the inhabitants of Greece before the emergence or arrival of the Greeks. In general, Pelagians has come to mean more broadly all the indigenous inhabitants of the Aegean Sea region and their cultures. A hold all term for any ancient, primitive, and presumably 
indigenous people in the Greek world. Pelagians, indigenous before the Greeks. A complete Greek grammar for the use of students by John William Donaldson, D.D., Doctor of Divinity, late classical examiner in the University of London and fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Page two. The Pelagians, swarthy Asiatics, or dark-faced men, were the original occupants and civilizers of the Peloponnese, which was called after their name, and also of many districts in northern Greece. The book, Atlas of the Ancient Near East, from prehistoric times to the Roman Imperial period by Trevor Bryce and Jesse Burkett Bress. Ahiyawa. Ahiyawa was the name for the land of the Achaeans. One of three names Homer uses for the Greeks in his Iliad. Ahiyawa appears to be used ethnogeographical designation encompassing all areas of Mycenaean settlement, both in mainland Greece and overseas. The Ahiyawa uh, Mycenaean world. Ahiyawa Mycenaean world. Indigenous pre-Greeks. Javan, Yawan, Ahayawa. 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 Greece, the Mycenaean world, Javan, Yawan, indigenous Greeks. Ahai Yawa, Greeks, Mycenaean, Misri, Mizraim, Egyptians. <laughs> 